Okay, sweet. So I stripped down completely fucking. No, fine engine. Fine engine, apparently. Water pump. That's what I had to say. There's not anything left. Throw the shit on the ground there. Go way forward. Hammer. Alright, we got two examas. JDM words. Some JDM, JDM this, eh? Kind of more JDM than. Oh, <laughs> Still got like 700 bolts still attached to this. Just don't dump the ones around the. The fan? Yeah, no, she's on. Keep going. Get off the last two, but oh. We finish about 14 minutes and we finish the chuck it out. Oh, I've got to get the tensioners off. Yeah, well, uh, we well, that's, I think this should be the last 14. I'm going to grab that out of there. No, take it over. And then take that out there. You want it back? Uh, just a nut. Oh, a nut. Yep. And then you can take all that with you. Oh. It's 17, wasn't it? Yes, it was. We discovered something, not Tracement. We discovered this previously. Now, is this 16? I don't know what that is. Probably 17. You're right. You can carry on. That's all good. Mm -hmm. Side low wheel. This is a 17 now. Very shallow. Pretty easy to do that. Maybe it's a 16. Do you have a 16? Yeah. Just try that one for size. No. For a 16? Yep. That's a short 17. I think the walls are thinner. Rattle gun might be the go actually. Make sure I get it on there nice and nice. Oh, that's nice. Just not a lot of bolt head to get onto. Yeah. You got that? Yeah. Oh, it's on the bolt head. Yeah. Rounded like a motherfucker. Yeah, like put, I'm gonna put quite yeah. a lot of load on that. Negative. Negative load. Negative coming off. Both. Did not even get that on in the first place? I imagine thinner wall socket. But who, who designed it like that? I don't know. Maybe it's not the original bolt. Check the um top thing, bottom drawer sockets. See what you got. Maybe they got a thinner wall 17. Well, it's pretty thin wall with stick on it, so it's like on the round. Okay. It's a half inch break. Yeah, I don't have a straight inch break. Remember that story I told you earlier yeah, today? Yeah. There's definitely more on there. So you're not having an adapter? Not that way. I've got one to go the other way. I've got the torque's not. Going to be the problem, I don't think. It's just holding it on. Knuckle is going to get fucked here. Okay, talk may be killing your problem. Some Japanese dude with two elbows put this together. Yeah, it's not the right belt. Negative, it's sticking. Sleeping in the bowl. Yep. Ready? Yeah. What the fuck? 
like I've got to put a lot of force inwards as well at the same time, so it's difficult to manage. Right. Uh, Say again. No, they all keep hitting this seal or whatever that is. You rip the seal out? I don't know. I can have a socket in there. Fuck, I thought that was going in the bottom here, for sure. Yeah, lucky there. Yeah, not hammering on, they're not actually sitting in there. Alright. What to do, what to do, what to do. Undo the pump from around it. Not possible. Can we get those bolts out? You want to get this one? And the other one from the top. I can get this one. Yeah, you can you can loosen it, but you can't take it out because it'll hit on the pulley. Unless you move up with it. No, even then. No, you're right. Probably won't get enough thread for this engagement. Yeah, right. Air rattle gun. Six point. Pray. You got a half inch one? Yeah. Six pointed. Little three eighths inch. Alright. Air ratchet. I'm going to put more pressure on it if you're good. Yep. Ready? Yep. You good? Yep. Yeah! It's welded itself to it, but I don't care. You can only get like onto the first three millimeters of the bolt, was the problem. No worse than the battery oil pump. Oh, there you go. That's a job for later. Separating those. All right, now where was I? Your 12 mil, please. Start someone. I'd love a good extension, mate. That's what she said. Come on, come on, mate. I'll take a 14. Which is already here somewhere, isn't it? Fucking No, it's not 14 either. 12, isn't it? Did you give me a 12? It looked like 12, probably wasn't the 10. No, it was the socket you gave me was too small. Yeah, was it 12 or a 10? I don't know, I trusted you to give me the right friggin' size. Uh, you gave me a 10. Put that ratchet gun. They got all excited about using a rattle gun again. See, yeah, so this is where the air ratchet is really good, but Christ, it's noisy. So very nearly stripped two bolts on the last day. No way anything in there can make that noise. Not unless there's a couple of fucking fins loose. You can hear it. And even then it would make a different noise. Ah, uh, trying to get past the friggin... Who's in the sink? Not really man grows Ah, you eat a dick. I thought you should have made it. I need the ratchet, it's just tight. For some reason. Was it Daniel had a fucking punch rate in the last lap? Second last lap, had a punch here. Yeah. Straight of spa, how it goes around with that 270 degree like fucking U bend. And it was actually quicker to go through the pits. Like, not even you cross the finish line first, but to go through the pits and transit and exit the other side was quicker than taking the racing track. So they done fucked up there. Uh, no issues. Certainly not the current way yet. No, not spa, yeah. but I mean, it was track somewhere else. Is this a pang? Might have had something like that. No. I can't remember that. <laughs> so what the fuck was that one? Ah, right, spiral back together and chuck it back in. Take it for a fucking yeah. squirt tonight. Alright, right. you can just give me your rubber washers and things and we'll get my mic together. Uh, pass. It's alright, I'm going to have night parts in Japan. Um, get back in the could tonight. anything in the head be making that noise? That's not that you know, I you would have seen it already. just the valves. It's only the valve and valve springs left. And you can't push you can't depress the valves. If I had a broken valve, it would make a different noise. It wouldn't be so deep a knock, I would have thought. I would have feel like it would be a um anything visibly wrong with the valves or anything like that? Nah, nothing visible on either side, underside or top side. Like, you know, it was if I drive this car again, it's going to fucking window the block. That sort of noise. Yeah. 
Where is it? It's not like some sort of hairline crack in the block somewhere. Just can't see because it's covered in oil. Well, when you get rebuilt, you're not just make it test it. Make part of them with that dish, track test it. So that's what I'd do if I was you. Crank's still good, you have a linish. The spill rods and CP pistons are 9.5 to 1 or 9 to 1. Can the head look that maybe? But even then, like. The uh, blue head over there has had a little bit of porting and polishing. You can pick your bit off it, mate. But it's, it's, lifter conversion, though. it's had um, it had a pot rivet in it. Oh, right. So there's impact marks on the underside. It's not on the bow seat, but I'd be worried about it being a detonation site. Yeah. That's cool. I need something to be wrong. I had a feeling. At least with mine, I had an air gasket fault, but that was, you know. Apart from the strange discoloration. And the slight wear, but not serious wear on the. Yeah. I mean, yeah, worn, but I get another year's worth of racing out of that. All right. Easy. I'd have to do it before I went to Bathurst. So that's the next year you're going to this year? I want to go, no, I can't afford to go this year. Yeah. That's a, well, you're not going to have a car ready until I can shake them down anyway to make it worthwhile. That's a very expensive fucking race weekend. Yeah, I looked at it weekend, last mate. year, it was like 800 bucks, isn't it, for two days? Well, that's 1500 that, That'll get you a car park. <laughs> It's not entry. Entry's like friggin' two and a half grand. Oh, it's, gone off, it? it's just entry. 